in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. There are a couple of lines in this evening's Gospel which I think provide great hope to all of us who have experienced grief in our lives, maybe with sickness or particularly with the death of a loved one. Where the Lord says to his disciples on the eve of his passion that there will be weeping and wailing, but that your sorrow will turn to joy. It's important we Catholics, we Christians, hold on to that conviction and that hope that whatever sorrows we endure in this life will turn to joy. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth, where he met a Jew called Aquila, whose family came from Pontius. He and his wife Priscilla had recently left Italy because an edict of Clausius had expelled all the Jews from Rome. Paul went to visit them. And when he found they were tent makers of the same trade as himself, he lodged with them and they worked together. Every Sabbath, he used to hold debates in the synagogues, trying to convert Jews as well as Greeks. After Silas and Timothy had arrived from Macedonia, Paul devoted all his time to preaching declaring to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. When they returned against him and started to insult him, he took his cloak and shook it out in front of them, saying, Your blood be on your own heads. From now on, I can go to the pagans with a clear conscience. Then he left the synagogue and moved to the house next door that belonged to a worshipper of God called Justus. Crispus, president of the synagogue, and his whole household all became believers in the Lord. A great many Corinthians who had heard him became believers and were baptized. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. 
The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, ring out your joy. Gospel acclamation. I will not leave you orphans, said the Lord. I go, but I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, in a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again. Then some of his disciples said to one another, what does he mean? In a short time, you will no longer see me, and then a short time later, you will see me again, and I am going to the Father. What is this short time? We don't know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to question him, so he said, You are asking one another what I meant by saying, In a short time, you will no longer see me, and then a short time later, you will see me again. I tell you, most solemnly. You will be weeping and wailing while the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. The Gospel of the Lord. response to our prayers of intercession this evening is King of Glory hear us let us pray to Christ who is our living hope of rising from the dead Lord Jesus by shedding your blood and rising from death you entered into your glory let us go with you into the presence of your father You sent your disciples into the world, their faith made strong by the resurrection. Grant that all your faithful may be faithful and loyal ministers of your gospel. Through your resurrection, you united the faithful in one hope and love. May we share in your ministry of peace and reconciliation. Through your resurrection, You healed the cripple who begged at the entrance to the temple. Look with pity on all those who are sick and display in them your glory. We pray for all who are suffering the consequences of the current pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world who have died. We pray for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish who are mourning the loss of a family member, praying that God may replace that sense of loss and desolation with his very own divine support and divine consolation. We pray in silence for a moment for those we have promised to remember in prayer, for those who have asked for prayers, and for those who have no one left to pray for them. You are the first to rise from the dead, the first 
of many brothers and sisters. Share your glory with those who have hoped in you. And we remember in a special way at Mass this evening, Francis McShane, Annie Monaghan, Ellen McConnell, Bridie and V. Freeman, and deceased members of St. John the Baptist Fatima Rosary Group, all of whose anniversaries occur today. And our prayers are requested this evening for the happy repose of the soul of Brian McParland, late of Florida and formerly of Portadown. Let us pray. <clears throat> God our Father, you have given a saviour to your people. Fill our hearts with constant thanks and praise that Christ the Lord is risen from the dead. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it.
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Bishop, Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean, our retired bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Francis, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary. And we pray the act of spiritual communion in solidarity with those who may be joining us uh, virtually this evening. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And for protection tonight, O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> <coughs> Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ.